welcome back to Two Chicks Going Green. We're coming up on one of the biggest gift giving holidays of the year, which is Valentine's Day. Yes, and depending on who you are, it can be one of the most stressful or one of the favorite holidays to find gifts for. Regardless, big corporations make it all about buying meaningless gifts, which is terrible for our planet and both the gift giver and receiver. Exactly. No one wants to spend all their time and energy and money buying a gift that the gift receiver isn't going to absolutely love. And at the end of the day, Valentine's and any other occasion that you're buying a gift for should really be about buying something special or making something special instead of just buying something. Which is why in this video, we'll be going over some great eco-friendly and thoughtful gift ideas that can easily be made at home by you. And if you can make those gifts out of things that you already have lying around your house or upcycled and reclaimed materials or things that you find at the thrift store, even better. And it will make the gift even more unique. But don't worry, we know that not everyone has the time or the energy to do these DIYs at home. So all of these gift ideas can be purchased from eco-friendly businesses as well. And don't forget to check locally first before you shop online. Before we get into these gift ideas, we would like to mention the important reasons as to why you want to make things out of upcycled materials and also why you're going to want to look to buy things made out of recycled materials. From an environmental standpoint, using upcycled or reclaimed materials saves materials from ending up in a landfill. It also minimizes the use of natural resources since no new raw materials are used this way. Last but not least, it can also save you lots of money. By the way, you can always do something for the person instead of giving something to that person. And this is usually the most sustainable option. We have a video on some great eco-friendly experience gifts that are sure to make for a memorable experience. Also, please make sure to check out our channel for all sorts of other eco-friendly gift ideas for gifting for all sorts of different occasions. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do so because we have lots of videos on living sustainably. Now let's get into those gift ideas. Gift idea number one is to make a personalized gift box. Something nice for the ladies would be a box with a handmade all natural bath salt soak, an eco-friendly candle, an organic soap, a sugar scrub or chocolates. Just fill it with items that you think the gift receiver would like. So, you know, make it personalized, use your imagination. You could even include like a little succulent or a little bottle of champagne. And then when it comes to a box for the guys, you can include something like a cigar, if they like cigars, or a little bottle of whiskey or a reusable tumbler. You could make the bath salt soak and some of the other items yourself, or you can purchase them locally at a farmer's market, a craft market, or an eco-friendly store that you have nearby and just make the box yourself. If you do decide to do it yourself, just make sure that you look for items that are plastic free, all organic and completely all natural. And if you do buy chocolate or include chocolate in there, make sure that it's fair trade. This is so, so, so important when buying chocolates. If you don't have the time to DIY a gift box, there are a few great eco-friendly options out there on the market. I know this because I sell one on TG Organica, which is my online Etsy shop. And speaking of upcycling, I even use upcycled glass jars for the soy wax candles that I include in these boxes. There's also Sugar and Valley, which offers lots of beautiful gift boxes, which I bought as Christmas gifts this past year, actually. They have a rose one and a coffee and chocolate gift box that would make for such a lovely Valentine's Day gift. There are also some great gift boxes out there for the guys on Etsy and on Sugar and Valley, so make sure you check those out. We've linked them in the description below. For option number two, you can make personalized and upcycled jewelry. Of course, if you don't have the time to do this, or maybe you're feeling really intimidated by it, you can always look on Etsy and Maid Trade. They have lots of items and they're great places to shop for these things. Just make sure you're looking for items that are made from upcycled materials. And we have linked some of these items below. Personally, I love making jewelry and I've made things for both genders. You just have to kind of be choosy about the materials you, you have and also be creative with them. Yeah, she makes really awesome stuff. I love the jewelry that you've made. I do get inspired by Pinterest a lot and <laughs> just like online and other jewelry that I see at stores. So look for those things as inspiration. But jewelry making can be really simple. All you need are a few small pliers. Most of the materials you might need can be found at thrift stores and on other pieces of jewelry. 
I've even found rope from the beach and made bracelets out of it. I added a link in the description below of a how-to on a knot that I like to use. You can also make something out of jewelry that you already have at home, especially if you don't wear it or you don't even like it. <laughs> this year, I made a necklace out of a necklace I was gifted. I decided to change it up a bit and personalize it to my taste. Gift idea number three is to make your own chocolate truffles and put them in an upcycle tin box or a container lined with wax paper and decorate it with upcycle string or rope. I've included a few truffle recipes below. Some are plant-based, some aren't. And they're super simple, but just make sure that you get the right ingredients to make them. If you don't want to make your own chocolates, don't worry. You can still buy them from a local chocolate shop if there's one that makes you know specialty chocolates around your neighborhood. Or you can find a chocolate tasting if they do that. Amanda and I are lucky enough to live really close to a chocolate factory, which is so awesome. <laughs> yeah. And last year for Valentine's, I actually took my boyfriend there for a chocolate tasting. And all of their stuff is fair trade and they work with the farmers that grow the cocoa. So it was really, really awesome. We learned all about how to make chocolate. We got to try all of their chocolates and it was a really cool surprise for my boyfriend. Last but not least, you can DIY and customize upcycled cards with seeds in the paper. Typically cards are just thrown away once they've been read or at best they're put into the recycle bin. But these cards with the seeds in them will turn into a plant. Personally, I love making handmade cards. I think that there's something so special about it and you give time to it and that in itself to me is a gift. There are great recipes out there to make upcycled cards with seeds in them out of upcycled paper. I love this idea. Me too. <laughs> and if I had kids, this is a project I would do with them for their classmates so that they can give them out as valentines instead of all those useless valentines. Oh, they yeah. drive me crazy. And then they get excited too because they get to see the plants grow. Yeah, I think a lot of kids really enjoy that. Mm -hmm. If you don't have time to make these, you can order them from Etsy from people that make them. Look for recycled paper ones if you can. And if you don't want to make it out of seeds, you can still make it special. I've made cards for people that could be hung as artwork on their walls. I gifted a frame with a few of them so they could read the personal note first. Well, that's about it for this video. Thank you so much for watching it. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave those in the comment section below. Also, we have a Ko-fi page. So if you really like this video and you'd like to buy us a coffee or two, please check that page out. Yes, we've included that in the description below, so make sure you buy us coffee if you really yeah. like it. And also <laughs> give us a like on this video. Yeah. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we have mm -hmm. lots of future videos coming out. And we hope to see you on the next one. Bye! Bye.